Good morning, Huckabee, and welcome to Life in the TP. I'm Juan Hernandez. And I'm Marjorie Rodriguez, and we are your host for this week. Announcements this week, our Lady Indians are off to a great playoff start with a bi-district win against Covington last Tuesday. Last Friday, the Lady Indians played Cherokee for a win in area and are advancing into the regional playoffs. Our guys tied for second in district and play this week in their first playoff game. Be sure to come out and support our Indians and Lady Indians as they advance in playoffs. Several of our students have been competing in FFA around the state with competitions in Fort Worth, San Angelo, and San Antonio. Be sure to congratulate them on their hard work when, I, when you see them. Here's our picture of the week. Great picture. Good luck to our basketball teams as they advance. This week is also National FFA Week. All this talk about animals has me thinking about pets. Did you know that some of our teachers have class pets? I did. Let's go to Ava for the story. Have you ever wondered what pets our teachers keep in their class? Well, we have a few questions that will figure that out. I have a beta fish. His name is Huck. He Huck. is, I was looking for a blue one, so he could be like our little Huckabee fish. Yeah, so I named him Huck. I kind of asked about him whenever I got him from Pet Supplies Plus, so they just told me he needs food every few days, just a few little pellets. Um, every few days I have to fill up his water every once in a while. So these are bullfrog tadpoles and at this point we haven't named them. We're going to wait till they sprout legs and get personalities. Right. We do have fish as well. Yeah, several different species. Do you we have a pleco, which is a type of sucker fish, the ones that stick on the walls. His name is Waldo. Okay. Because you never know where he is, so you go up and you say, where's Waldo? Okay, and then we have goldfish and we have tiger barb and... So the tadpoles is like a class project that will go on for several months. We've done some research. We're going to watch them go from tadpole to bullfrog um, because we also look at bullfrog internal structures as well. So yeah, there's different things that you need to research beforehand. They have to be kept in certain temperatures because that affects their life cycle. That's awesome. Thank you for watching. My name is Ava King and back to the studio. Those class pets are awesome. Maybe one of our teachers can have a dog as a class pet next year. I wouldn't hold my breath on that. Our teachers like the jobs and would want to keep them. Speaking of dream jobs, let's see what Evan found out about some dream jobs around here. Hi, my name is Evan Hamilton and I'm reporting for Life in the TV. and the segment that I'm going to be covering today is talking about dream jobs. Everyone wants a job that they enjoy, so we asked a couple students questions about their dream jobs. We asked what their dream jobs was. Uh, to be a hand, <laughs> hand model. Really? Yeah. That's what's up. I wanted to be a hand model myself, but um, I lost in a game of thumb wars. A surgeon. You want to be a surgeon? Yes. That's great. My grandfather had open heart surgery, so the surgeon did a really good job. Ranching. You want to be a rancher? Yes. That is awesome. Why is their dream job? Makes a lot of money. Makes lots of money. That's what's up. Lots of five five pays off. Very good. Help people like fix their problems in like inside their life. That's cool. You just want to help people. Yes. Very good. So the the way I succeed in it is we, I've done it all my life, and my grandfather and my dad and my great grandfather they all did it, and it's something that I think I'd be really good. At. So you come from a long time out of ranchers. Yes. That's awesome. I mean. I uh, <clears throat> know nothing about that uh, besides that Woody on Toy Story is a cowboy and I thought that I could rock that look. And if they have any other jobs in mind, if their dream job doesn't work out. A uh, salesman or real estate agent. A salesman or real estate agent. Good money. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yes. I mm -hmm. either like a nurse or a hairstylist maybe. That's cool. Those are really cool jobs. So you just really want to be in the medical field. Yes. That's awesome. Probably a crab fisherman. A crab fisherman. Cool. R.I.P. Mr. Krabs. We also asked about their job and how their plan was to succeed that job. Um, through the model agency, I guess. Through the model agency. Uh -huh. I see, man. Alrighty, it was a pleasure. Look at that. Look at that golden locks. We'll make a good hand model one day. Um, probably to practice a whole lot mm -hmm. and make good grades at school. Absolutely. Especially in math and science. Yes, ma'am. You're 100% right. Yes. 
Well, Maya, it was a pleasure to interview you. Thank you. Yes. So, I, uh, my grandfather, my great grandfather, they all did it, and I think it'd be something I'm really good at. Okay. So you come from a long timeline of ranching, and clearly you know what the heck you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good for, fit for you, man. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, man. Thanks for uh, letting me ask you a couple questions. Yes, Take it easy. Alrighty, man. Yes, sir. We hope that they get the job that they want in the future, and that they really work hard to achieve their goals. This is Evan Hamilton with Life in the TV, back to the studio. My dream job would be to be a com cosmetologist. Mine would be a marine biologist, but I can't swim. I thought you wanted to be president. Absolutely not. That's a really big job, but we have some great ones. Monday, February 21st is President's Day. Let's go to Ryan with a little history about President's Day. What is President's Day? Did you know it was originally simply called President Washington's birthday? Later, it was decided to change the name of the holiday to honor not only George Washington, but Abraham Lincoln. As both of their birthdays are only 10 days apart on February 12th and February 21st. In Westmoreland, Virginia, in 1732, on February 22nd, George Washington, the first president of the United States of America, was born. Now, you may have heard several things about George Washington, like his teeth were wooden, but fortunately that was not true. Not many people know this, but he was six feet tall. He was also nicknamed the father of his country. Now jumping over to Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. Unlike most presidents, Abraham Lincoln wasn't born into a wealthy family. He had a rough childhood, but yet he worked hard, and in the end, he won the election to the U.S. House of Representative in 1846. Abraham Lincoln is credited with starting the national banking system. Mr. Lincoln accomplished many things during the presidency, but what you may not know, he was a devoted family man and father. He had four kids, so on February 21st, when you are celebrating President's Day and are glad not to be in school, remember these two presidents who did a lot for our country. Hi, I'm Ryan with Life in the Teepee. Back to the studio. I didn't know some of that. Did you, Juan? I definitely learned something. Now let's go to Dylan and Rocco for the joke of the week. Hi, I'm Dylan. And I'm Rocco. And this is Joke of the Week. Hey Rocco, I've got a joke for you. What's the joke? This one's from Tylee Thames in the sixth grade. What did the farmer say when his wife didn't let him buy a prize steer? What did the farmer say? <laughs> that was a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dylan, I got a joke for you. What is it? It's from Taylor in the fifth grade. What kind of transportation does a snowman use? What? An icicle. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the last one. This is from Ella. How do you get a country girl to like you? How? A tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Joke of the Week. Make sure to submit your jokes in the office and back to the studio. Spring break is coming up real soon, in like two weeks. Yeah, I know. We're all ready for a break. That's all we have for this week. We'll see you next week, and remember, to, to be, be a leader, leader and dream big. big.